Good morning, students. Uh, this is for the chapter four, Word. More on Word 2016. MS Word offers you graphics to enhance the appearance of your document. Graphics. What are graphics? Graphics refers to several kinds of visual objects such as word art text, pictures, and shapes. Why we insert object? Inserting object in a document can be a great way to illustrate important information and decorative essence to the existing text. When we add objects to the document, it gives a very special effect or decorative effect for the document. So, in this particular chapter, we are going to study about how we can insert these type of objects and how we can do various uh, various uh, changes in its colors how to format the shapes first of all we are going to study about word art what is a word art word art is a feature in word 2016 that allows you to create a stylish text stylish way mein aap text likhte ho na that type of text are also present in Word 2016. It has a gallery and there are many word art and we can insert that word art from that gallery. How to insert word art? We are going to study with the, through the steps. To insert a new word art object, first you have to click the location where you want to insert a new word art. Suppose I am clicking here, you can see my cursor, wherever is your cursor, there only your smart art will, sorry, word art will insert. So, for the, after that, you have to go to insert tab. Can you see the insert tab? Click on it, a, uh, a ribbon will open up, then go to the text group. This is what is the text group and this is word art. Click on the word art, this is the word art gallery. From this gallery, you can select any one of it. Then, a text. This is known as a text placeholder, where it is written your text here. So here only you have to type your text. Uh, right, uh, directly you can type down. See, done. And you, and uh, after uh, writing whatever your text, click up, uh, outside and your selection will be gone. This shows that it is selected. Now, the next is to convert an existing text into a word art object. Suppose you have already written hello and you want to convert this text as the word art object. So, what you have to do? You have to first select the text, then you have to go to insert, then go to word art and select any of the word art you want. See, I have created the normal text to a word art text. The next is formatting word art. Already you have inserted a word art. Now, how to format this word art? When you insert a word art object in a document, the drawing tools format tab appears. Can you see here? Only 9 tabs are there. But when you select this particular object, one more tab that is drawing tools format tab appears and it has different um, formatting options here. So, whenever you want to format any word art, not word art, all the shapes or all the graphics, you have to select it and extra tab will open up and you have to format it from here. So, from this particular formatting tab, you can change its text field, you can change its text outline and you can change its text effects also. So, first we will change the text color. For changing the text color, you have to go here, that is text fill, click on the drop down arrow, you will get a palette of colors and when you select the inside color, not the outline, the inside fill color will keep on changing. Can you see? Orange is the outline and blue is the fill color. Next, 
if you want to change the word outline this is the outline text outline click it a color squash will come up and you can change the color outline color of it okay or else here there are different options in the outline you can see no outline if you don't want any outline you can see do it if you want more outline colors what should be the way it is suppose see this is the outline thickness okay you can set it with the help of this this is shows the thickness and the dashes dot dashes what type of dash you want at the side you can select it from here the next is what you can do with the word art is applying text effects you can apply various text effects in such as shadow reflection glow 3d rotation or word art for that you have to select the text you have to go to the drawing tools format tab click on the format tab and you can go here this is what is the text effects when you click it you will get shadow reflection glow we will 3d transformation okay uh, i will show you 3d rotations can you see the 3d rotations this is what is the 3d rotations okay you can select any one of it you can also change the transformation like this see okay can you see okay this is how we can apply the text effects the next one is how to apply word art styles you can impart, impart a distinct appearance to the word art object by applying various predefined styles to apply a word art style suppose you have already styled it but you want to change it what you can do select it go to the drawing tools format tab and this is what is the word art style suppose you want to now change it you can change it okay it is not like that aapne ek bar install uh, insert kar diya you cannot change it and uh, um, you can also see the various uh, preview uh, just by moving your mouse pointer over it okay now the next thing what you can do with the word art is you can change its direction direction means you can put it horizontally you can put it vertically so to change its direction again you have to select the text then go to format option then you can see here text direction after clicking on the text direction you will get this option horizontal rotate alt text 90 rotate alt text 2670 or if you want other options you can get it from here see or else this is the shortcut can you see here round click it and then this okay this is how to change the direction of the word or text the next object which we are going to see or which we are going to insert is shapes Word 2016 allows you to insert a variety of shapes in your document. Shapes can include lines, rectangles, arrows, stars, callouts, banners and flowcharts. For inserting a shape, put your mouse pointer where you want to insert the shape. Then go to insert. In this chapter, we are going to insert all the objects, so we are going to uh, have only one type of tab that is insert tab here you can get here you can insert a table picture online pictures shapes smart arts chart screenshots you can also uh, insert online video you can insert a text box word art these all things you can insert with the help of the insert tab so here we are going to insert a shape now the, how to insert a shape first you have to go to insert option and then go to the illustration group click on shapes you will get the shapes gallery this is what is the shape gallery and here different type of shapes are there 
click the shape you want to insert. We will insert a star, so I will click it from here or at the down also you can get it. And your mouse pointer will be changed to a plus sign. Abhi tak aisa nahi tha na? Plus sign mein change ho gaya means you have already selected a shape. And after that you have to click and drag. See, I have inserted a sh star shape. The shape is surrounded by a boundary. Can you see you, it is surrounded by a boundary to indicate that it is selected. You can use this handles boundary to resize and rotate the shape. See, mouse, mouse pointer is changing. So, I will click it and drag it. Okay, it is big. If you want to make it a small click and drag. Okay, so it is used to resize or rotate also. You can rotate it also. Okay. Now, uh, when you click anywhere outside the shape, your shape is inserted in the document. The different formatting options which are used in shapes means आप अपने shape को भी format कर सकते हैं. Like you have uh, formatted your uh, word art object like that. Here also you can format the shape. Uh, for same the same process you have to do. First, you have, uh, you have to select the object and then go to the drawing tools format tab. And here you can use shape style, shape fill, shape outline, shape effects. These are same as the word art objects. I will just do it and you can see it shape fill. I am filling it with a different color. Okay, shape outline. blue I am changing its width can you see blue shape effects we will 3d rotation ok see ok this is shape fill shape outline and shape effects you can also change the shape uh, styles here it is given shape styles click it you can make it what is the shape style this option lets you apply predefined shape styles to this selected shape each shape style uses a unique combination of colors lines and shape effects now one more thing you can do with the okay i have not told you the shape effects okay i have told you the shape effects uh, then one more thing you can do with the shape is you can insert a text in the shape select the text and start typing ok type the required text it is there shine like a star ok and click outside can you see Okay, we have inserted a shape, in, uh, we have inserted a text inside a shape. The next object which we are going to study is pictures. A picture can convey a message in a way that word alone cannot. It makes your document more visually interesting. You can insert a picture into the document from your computer or from the internet. So, if you want to insert a picture from your computer, you have to go to the insert and you can select pictures if you want to insert it from your computer or else if you want to insert the pictures from online, you can select it this if you want to select the pictures from internet. Now, the steps are like this, click on the picture option then just uh, locate or navigate through the folder where you have saved your pictures there is no picture so I will go here I will select one of it ok I am selecting this picture and insert ok this is what is the picture I have inserted from this computer from this particular computer 
you can insert the picture from the internet also go to the insert option select it your internet will open up and you can select it the picture whatever you want from there now once you have inserted a picture you can format a picture how you have formatted the other objects you can format the picture also when you insert a picture in the document the picture tools format tab appears means one extra tab was appearing whenever you are inserting any type of objects like that when you select this particular object picture a picture tools format tab will appear and from this particular tab you can do the various formatting techniques you can use this means you can uh, apply various artistic effects to a picture you means you can make like it's um, a sketch like for example see i will do this can you see the effects here please see the effects okay here sketch effects okay okay this is artistic effects of a you can apply to your picture you can also apply picture effects like shadow glow reflection 3d what we have done for the rest of the things for that you have to go for here picture effects can you see glow you can be will or 3d rotation you want see okay this is what is picture effects the only thing you have to do is to select the picture jo bhi aapko object ko format karna hai usko select karna zaruri hai until you select it you cannot format it so after uh, selecting you have to go to this uh, extra tab which is added to your tab the next thing what you can do with the picture is you can change the overall look of the picture by applying various predefined styles to if you want to uh, apply picture styles to it select your picture go to the picture tools format tab click on it and you can apply various see picture styles you can also crop a picture suppose you uh, don't want some part suppose i don't want this part so what you can do what i can do i can crop it so for cropping a picture again you have to do the same thing select your picture go to the picture tools format tab at the styles group you can see crop when you click on crop the black handles can you see they are used for cropping a picture means to remove the unwanted part of the picture so by moving that handle towards you can crop this crop the picture see i am cropping it i have cropped the picture i have deleted i have cut an unwanted part of a picture this is what is cropping a picture now one more type of object you can uh, insert that is you can also insert a screenshot do you know what is a screenshot yes so that type of screenshots you can insert in the app window also that is how to insert a screenshots again go to the insert then go to the screenshot when you go to the screenshot you can get this option that is screen clipping which which uh, screen you want to take the screenshot suppose i want to take the screenshot of it so i will just see i have selected this area this is my screenshot see this is how you can take out the screenshot 